morning. Now I'm not normally one for twitching. If I see something new, it's exciting, don't get me wrong, but I um, found myself at a bit of a loose end today. I wanted to come out and do a bit of filming. So there's a report of a bird probably only about 10 miles away from where I live. So I've come to see if I can see it as I've never seen one before. But as with all my trips, I will film anything I see, basically, and enjoy every one of them. Uh, already I've had a beautiful serenade from a black cap. So loud. I was going to film it, but unfortunately it's next to an industrial site. And there was too many lorries and things and the sound was awful, so... I left that one. So yeah, I'm heading probably got about a half mile walk to head to the ponds and reed beds where this bird's been spotted so come along and let's see if we can see it that was worth coming here for on its own singing again, it's beautiful. It's such a small reed bed in front of me, so it's not been difficult to pick out, which has been good. <laughs> Brilliant. Doesn't matter if I don't see anything else now. It's made my day, that has. Get it. This is a great um, sort of viewing point. Um, I'm at Carvale, which is just outside Bolsover near Chesterfield in Derbyshire. And this viewing point sort of brings you right into the middle of the reed beds. And there's reed warblers, reed buntings. I can hear a sedge warbler in the distance. There's a robin singing. You're right in the middle of it. I mean, this time of year, sort of mid-May, to early June, the bird song is superb anyway, but to be in the middle of a reed bed like this is really, really good. Wonderful. I've had um, some quick glimpses of a common turn as well from here, but I might be able to film that better uh, when I move around a little bit. There's the reed warbler. Got food in its, in its mouth. Off to feed some chicks somewhere, no doubt. Oh, I can see a singing one. I'm going to try and film it. See you in a minute. I can hear him, but I can't see him. He just popped up to the top of the reeds for a second. They do that sometimes. They start off singing at the bottom of the reed bed. And then slowly work their way up to the top of the reed, but they don't stay there for very long. I've got a sedge warbler singing behind me as well, but he's not showing either. But I've got all day, I'm in no rush. So I've come over nearer to the Peter Fiddler side of the reserve now. And just stop for a bit of lunch, grab a bit of sunshine, a bit of the old vitamin D. And it's a bit quieter over this side, but 
I have just been, uh, I have just had a flyby uh, from a buzzard and then a couple of minutes later a sparrow walk. I might chill out here for another 20 minutes or so, have a cup of coffee and then head back onto the main reserve. just stopped by the river and there's a squirrel in these trees behind me it keeps running through and it's got its young with it it's carrying its young in its mouth so I'm assuming it's dry over that direction somewhere has been disturbed by something and it's found somewhere else it's a lovely spot as well because I've got chiff chaff singing up here I've got black cat behind me I've got white throat to my left robins blackbirds it's very nice I still haven't seen this bird I've come for though. <laughs> it's going to elude me, I know it is. Everybody keeps saying, have you seen the? No, we're not seeing it. Oh, I saw it this morning. Good on you. <laughs> oh, what's this coming through? I got it came back with another youngster and there's a huge tree behind me I'm not sure what sort of tree that is but brilliant you could just see it disappear into the tree somewhere and then this youngster just poked its head back out over mum's shoulder and quickly went back in again Well, here's something I've never seen before. There was a bullfinch perched on a small branch and underneath the branch was a dandelion head that had gone to seed and the bullfinch kept dropping down, hovering, picking up dandelion seed and landing back on the branch, eating the seed, back down again, back on the branch and kept repeating that until all the dandelion had gone. A very, very versatile plant, this dandelion. Lots of animals eat it from seed to root. So if you've got it in your lawn, don't get rid of it. It's good for the wildlife. <laughs> really good, that. Hope you enjoy it as much as I did. Ooh, that's me done for today. <sighs> I've had six and a half, seven hours trying to find this glossy ibis with no luck. Um, some people say they've seen it, other people said they've been down yesterday and it was out all day, out in the open. So I don't know. That's nature watching, can't be too disappointed. In fact I'm not disappointed, think about what I have seen. I've listened to sedge warblers, willow warblers, reed warblers. Just been watching that bullfinch. I've seen a buzzard, a sparrow hawk, great crested grebes, all sorts of stuff. Now that's not a bad day, is it? So, I've enjoyed it. I hope you've enjoyed it. I'll see you next time. <laughs> what a day. Brilliant.